You know, I kind of like the fact that we're actually listening to elevator music right in an arena that offers death. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Keeper of the Dark Heart with more Ratchet and Clank 3, Up Your Arsenal. So, in the last part, uh, we kind of went wild with the whole, you know, death match arena, death course, and, you know, we nearly died, and I somehow made it alive if it hadn't been for the Inferno power, but, uh, yeah. I'll probably do those missions off-screen, but yeah. Oh, never mind, cutscene. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, and Helga, welcome to the Q-Force. You have been assembled here because each of you is an expert in your particular field. From Al's mastery of electronics to Skid's nerves of steel to Helga's sensual powers of seduction. Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or, the GAMD. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious' personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. So basically, we're doing all the work. That's crazy! But it just might work. Yeah, basically, we're doing all the work for this supposed Q-Force. Hey, Flacker! You talking to me? Are we there yet? Um, no? And yeah, they if you t go up to talk to each and every one of them, they have their own little works and whatnot, but... Yeah, so essentially... We're doing all the work here. And that's why I hate Quark so much. Other than the fact that, you know, he can't do anything by himself. And he's a bit of a douchebag. But yeah, there was a reason why I wanted 10,000 volts. Ratchet, I urgently need to know how the Quark vs. Nefarious vidcomic series ends. When are you going to play your new comic? Probably never. If anybody finds a Star Master scientific calculator, please contact Lost and Found. So yes, this is what I wanted to get. This, this is, is an armor vendor. Like I explained before. You can buy armor. So this costs 10 grand. Yeah. So yeah, I probably should have grinded for this earlier, but you know, I didn't, and that's probably why I nearly died and nearly crapped my pants a few times. Oh hey buddy, what's up? But uh yeah, let's go and do all the work. Not doing that. So yeah, we're going to be doing all the work for this stupid crew. Ugh. Off to Aquatos. Incoming call. Oh no. Clank, Bubby, you're killing me! Excuse me? I'm trying to make a picture here, and Mr. Big Shot Star is nowhere to be found. I am currently occupied with a mission of galactic security. Right, right. I get it. You want a bigger trailer? Done. You want a daily oil massage? Done. I need my star on the set pronto, capiche? Uh, you're, uh, breaking up. You know, I can see you, weasel boy. 
Oh yeah? How about now? You know, technically we're not a weasel, we're a lombax. He'll figure something out. We've got work to do. You know, that's like a made-up species that apparently, according to that guy, must have deviated from the weasels. Though I don't see it. Yeah. Anyways, this is Aquatos. As you can tell, it's underwater. So yeah, this is the game's obligatory underwater stage. So what do we got in here? We have crap we cannot afford. Hooray! Oh, hey. Someone else got here before us? Hmm. That was investigation. Oh, hey, it's Skid. Skid? What are you doing here? My code name is Shadow Dude, bro. Black Ops are my especiality. I figured you guys could use my help. Uh, thanks, Shadow Dude, but I think we've got this one covered. All right, I'll just take my hacker and go back to the ship. Hacker? Oh, well, you know, on second thought, I think we'd like you to join the mission, Shadow Dude. Awesome! This is gonna be sick! So yeah, if you couldn't tell, they I guess they were attempting to parody, um... What's his face? No, that's not the name of the person. Um, okay, I can't remember the person's name, but... Tony Hawk, there we go. They were apparently trying to take the stereotypical Tony Hawk character and, you know, turn it into someone that they could use for a game character. Then yeah, that's how he got skid. Ah, go away! Ugh, I hate these things. They are literally living piles of crap. Yeah, not really the most appealing of all enemies. Go away! But uh, yeah. So apparently, Skid here will hack the doors for us. In turn, oh god, we have got to defend him. And hey, bolt multiplier. Or actually not bolt multiplier, just multiplier in general. Ow. All right. So like it like it was said earlier, not only does this multiply bolts, this also multiplies experience. So yeah, you basically don't want to waste this. Go die already. Oh, we lost. It. That makes me sad. All right. Come on, skid. Oh wait, never mind. I'm sorry. I forgot to take him out. Okay, now it's clear. Come on in. So basically, the gimmick of this stage here is that Skid has the hacker. Something that you've been doing in the first two, ga the first two games where you just hack machinery. But in this regard, you know, he has it. And he won't come to you unless you clear the area. Or, you know... Oh, hey. You can die. Um, yeah, so basically... Unless you press a switch for him, or, you know, get access to the door. What am I doing? Yeah. Or get access to another door for him. He won't move. Um, okay, why did he take so long to die? Die already! Hooray, my gun leveled up. Ow. This weapon upgrade features a lock-on mod. To lock on to enemies, press and hold. L2 and R2. And... Shut up, Skid. Basically, what you saw right there, that was the lock-on mod. Press R2 and L2 while, while you strafe, and there, you got a lock-on. Pretty useful. If I do so, if I do say so myself. We got health. Oh, hey. And this is another... Sorry, dude. I can't Shut up, Skid. I know that. You sucked in the first game that I saw you. Forgotten how to swim, have you? Press square to dive and X to rise. Press harder to dive or rise faster. Your helmet will provide oxygen. At least, in theory. In theory. Thanks. So you don't even know if this crap's been tested. Well, it seems to be working out okay. Now you're probably wondering, why the crap am I blowing up all the boxes? Well, believe it or not, there's a skill point for that. 
Yeah, there's a skill point for blowing up boxes. Take that as you will. And I also know for a fact that there's a bolt in here. Where is that thing? It's in here somewhere. I got it on my first run, but completely by accident. Okay, seriously? Where is it? Seriously? Alright, you know what? Forget it. I'm not going to stress myself over a bolt, because, you know, we'll be coming back here eventually. Ugh. But, you know, I will waste time getting these small bolts. Be careful down there. My scanners show a huge biomass moving towards you down the oh, drain pipe. Oh, that sounds lovely. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we haven't really used this thing. I really got to get this thing up to snuff. Let's see, what do we got? Oh my god! It's living piles of crap! And this isn't even... Oh my god, it's alive! Um... We are going to need bombs. Oh my god, we're doing plumbing with bombs. Who would have thought? And for our efforts, we got a sewer crystal. And if you remember, in the, to those who played the second game, um, the sewer crystals are essentially the same thing as... <coughs> pardon me. The moonstone and... What am I? The Moonstone and the Raritanium. The ra in the Raritanium collecting missions. There's a bomb behind there. And I threw in the wrong way. Alright. So far, so good. Hang on. Is there anything down there? Is there anything down here? I have to Oh, hello. A bolt and I nearly missed it. Oh, hey. I can't believe I nearly missed that. Oh, well. Oh, hey. Hi there. Little living pile of crap. You know, Skid, you can hit that little switch yourself, you know. You don't need me to do everything. should be using this to level it up so it doesn't suck as much. Alright, that worked out well. Ow! You can die at any time, sir. Thank you. Alright. And look, we got more swimming. Hooray! I'm just gonna go end up blowing boxes up, and... Oh, he... What? No, 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 that's a mine. Do not touch that, because those hurt. You know, as common sense would tell us, mines do hurt. Oh, this is where I thought... This is where the bolt was. How stupid of me. Alrighty then. So now, if you're want, If I haven't explained this before, because I've already forgotten, um, by blowing up these bomb boxes, especially here underwater, you get a skill point. Skill points are essentially like little rewards that they give you for completing tasks that you wouldn't actually consider in the first place. Oh god, I got it. I better go. And this is one of them. 
Like, who would think to blow up all the barrels here underwater? I mean, yeah, you get money and all, but... So yeah, we just got ourselves, we just got us a skill point. And hooray for swimming in circles. Alrighty then. So apparently this looks like it's gonna have to drag on for another two-parter. Or heck, maybe even a potential three-parter, who knows? Shock blaster and plasma whip, hooray. Oh god, another living pile of crap. Okay, seriously, this thing has really got a level up. Skid, how are you how can you even see me? Alright. Ow. You know what, let's do explosive plumbing again. Cause that seemed to work really well before. And yeah, it worked. So yeah, kids, if there's anything you want to take out of this particular LP, know that using explosives for plumbing works pretty well. So apparently we got more people over there. Oh, whoa, hi there. You did that was unnecessary, sir. So you did not have to shoot me. Now I will have to shoot you. With my Ricky Shang bullets. Anything over there? No, there's nothing under here. Alright, you go do your hacking. Awesome. That's it! Oh wow, we're already at 20 grand? That was fast. So yeah, Skid as a character, he appeared in the first game. Like I said, he was supposedly a Tony Hawk ripoff, you know, with his whole attitude and whatnot. Basically, you saved him in the first game. That's how you know him. <gasps> Shh! Clank, did you hear that? We are not alone. Hey, uh, dudes, I uh, forgot to feed my goldfish. I'll see you back at the... And as you can tell, he's also a bit of a coward. Well, if it ain't two of my best customers. Slim Cognito? What are you doing down here? I had a small run-in with the cops concerning a suck cannon upgrade that was mistakenly sold to a miner. I swear the kid looked 18. Anyway... I needed to find a less conspicuous place to do business. I take it you two are still in the market. Well, let's see what you've got. So yes, by uploading... Oh, it's Megacorp, not Megatron. So by uploading uh, your save data from Going Commando, you got some free weapons. The Mini Turret Glove and the Lava Gun, which will be useful in this upcoming area. Try customizing your quick select in the pause menu. To access your secondary quick select ring, hold R1 while using the quick select. So unfortunately that wraps us up for this episode folks. So until in the next part we will be furthermore exploring this area of underwaterness. So until then folks, I am Keeper the Dark Heart and I will see you next time.